Hey guys, I went ahead and created a numeric text box that is for restricted number input and it may interest you so I'm just going to uh, show you what it is. And this control will be in my BSF control library. I'll probably get around to adding it to the library and uploading it after I'm done this video. So I have a category of properties that I made and these are the input properties. The first property is to allow control characters like pasting. I don't know any of the other ones, I just know paste. And um, so yeah, if you want your user to have a bit more control over the box, that's fine. Uh, the filter is in place to make sure that they don't put any crazy characters in there. And then the second property is allow decimal. And basically if it's set to true, you can add one or more decimals into the text box. As soon as you set it to false, it will clear the decimals out of the text box. The, sec the third property here, allow multiple decimals, uh, denotes whether or not the user can add more than one decimal. So I'm going to add a bunch of decimals here and I'm going to just set it to false. And you'll notice that it clears all of the less leftmost decimals and leaves the rightmost decimal there if it's uh, present. And there is a property called allow negation and that simply de uh, determines whether or not the user can input the negative character or the minus character at the front of the text and the user can only put it there. Um, let's set this to false and you'll notice that uh, the negative character has been removed. Now the less useful properties down here, maximum and minimum number, this restricts the uh, numeric keys that can be used for input for the text box. So I'm going to set the maximum number to 3 and you'll notice that any character uh, over 3 will be removed and the same applies to the minimum number. Okay so you'll notice that if I add a dot and then zeros afterwards and the text box loses focus it simply clears the zeros out of there and if it's just a decimal it'll clear it out too because you don't really need to see that. Okay and finally um, the text box is programmed so that the user cannot type decimals next to each other they have to be in different areas of the uh, uh, number because it's kind of pointless to add two decimals next to each other if you're just for like an IP address or a decimal number. So all of the rules that are applied to key input are also applied to the filter. And the filter is applied whenever uh, text is pasted into the text box. So you don't need to worry about the user pasting foreign characters in there. So if I were to paste in uh, I'll, let, I'll show you really quick. I'm going to set the max number back up to 9 and allow negation, allow multiple decimals, and allow all this other stuff. So I'm going to paste in that number here. It has multiple decimals. This is what is in my clipboard. And I'm going to now disable the uh, allow multiple decimals property, or however, however you want to see it, I'll set it to false. And then I'll paste in my text here. And you'll notice that the filter is applied as. Um, as it would be if I were to try to enter this. Okay, so I tried to make the code as readable as I can, but it is a bit more complex than I additionally or initially wanted it to be. But uh, if you're looking for it, it's going to be in my BSF control library, which is on SourceForge. And uh, I hope you understand what's in there.